Record labels are hypocrites. Oh, the MP from the PNP party make it all time pocket. And you have all of the resources and he make just a few. That's a one something rub me the wrong way. Second, he still cannot declare his assets. You can't declare where you get the money from for billion stone wall. The more expensive more than about five house combined up there. What go on people? Happy Sunday to you all. I want to eat half of the rice and peas and I want to eat half of none. I have no opinion. Yeah, man, in a real life. But anyhow, flame them and shame them. I see flame to the man of be a kushu kasha. So, female recording dancehall artist Spice, she a burn out the record label them. You know. Yeah, seems like the record label them go around mama. So, moms attack up the things them. Anyhow, I'm going to run what she have to say. You, the viewers, let me know how you feel about this situation. Flame them and shame them, you see. Flame them. My are hypocrites. Well, most of them at least. I feel like um, someone that has been signing a record label for 10 years and they didn't do much versus me now being an independent artist, I now know the difference. And so I'm so happy that I wasn't asked the question because then I would have to be honest with the audience and let them know that sometimes a record label will sign you and not do not the feel and just sit down on you because them having you in a contract means that they will know the reap benefits from you whether they do the work or not. What are some Jamaican music biz questions that need to be tackled and aren't being tackled right now you think? You know some of the things that I feel like we should be tackling and talking about is the fact that some artists get hot at Jamaica, that's what we call them, them boss. But when you go overseas, people really don't know them or their streaming numbers not doing particularly well. I'm just coming from Singapore and I'm not classifying myself out of this. Because when I said to the people over there, do you know dancehall music? They're like, no. And I'm like, you don't know dancehall? I said, do you know reggae? They said, oh, Bob Marley. They're still saying Bob Marley after so many years. But a lot of people here in Jamaica would feel like, oh, I'm here the man, I'm here run the place. When you look on, like even the reggae iTunes chart, it's still Bob up there for months and months, for years and years. So what is it that we're doing to stream and to get up there, to create, and we'll never create our next Bob, but we need to have more Sean Pauls and more Shaggy's. Peter Morgan, lead singer from Morgan Heritage, dies at 47. Reggae band Morgan Heritage lead singer Peter Morgan has died. The band announced the passing of Peter via a statement shared on their Instagram on Sunday, February 25. The band's statement did not reveal the veteran singer cause of death, but revealed he was 47 at the time of his passing. Jaja. People, I want to know flood the comment section a R.I.P. You see what me I say? Sad time right about now in a reggae dance hall. You see me? Because Peter was a great man. Woman speaks about JLP and PMP. Yeah, man, moms are exposed some things to you know. People, it's a very interesting video, so I'm gonna run the video. You, the viewers, let me know in the comment section if you agree with what she has said or if you disagree. Okay, good morning, and I am asking you for approximately two minutes of your time. I'll make this really fast, but it has to do with our general election that is taking place Monday. Now, I am not one to follow politics, but just hear me out. JLP has been in power for a very long time. When I first voted, I voted for JLP, not because I am wearing this red shirt, mean that I am PNP. No, I am a wagonist. I am for any party that is uplifting the country. So if PNP in a power and them are do good, yeah. If JLP in a power and them are do good, yeah. My vote fluctuate. No, me give Andrew a chance because I feel like him young and him can steer the country in the right direction. You know, make something for the youths them. No, I saw a post where persons were making comparison to a house he built and a house a uh, opposition leader from the uh, a MP built. And person were making comparison of it. You can't do that. No, the MP from the PNP party make it all time pocket. And you have all of the resources and he make just a few. That's a one something rub me the wrong way. Second, he still cannot declare his assets. You can't declare where you get the money from for building a stone wall. They're more expensive, more than about five house combined up there. Three, I don't understand how you are the prime minister and your wife 
is the house speaker. That's conflict of interest. That rubbed me the wrong way. Pillar talk is a hell of a thing in a business or professional. You are. That has to go. Fourth, you're putting the new highway where I affect the poorest people. You're sure with every day you are not for the poor. You're not for the poor. You're for rich people. Because you open it up in a December because you want people to run, come vote for you. You want to show them, say, I do something. But yet, let's suffer all our people in business from December till now. Why you never just fix the road? Or even if you come in and say enough, you introduce the new highway and something, but make it make sense. Create something where the people around the poorest can still make some money. Or open it up when all of the toll boot them intact and you can collect money off it. So if a person I go take the toll because they really need to take the toll, and those who don't want to pay for it can take the back road and the people in business can still strive. All right. Fifth, Juliet Oldness, a house speaker. She's also your wife and she have multiple other business, but guess what she do? You see the aluminum company them used to have work where can get private owned trucking. So a truck man can buy him truck and introduce it to the company and offer some work. About 140 truck she put out of work for putting fear truck them. All of the work them we are doing the aluminum company them is Juliet Oldness truck. Juliet Oldness machine and if you buy something for your truck she create a network where it have to import in the country through her. How oh, that makes sense? You put 140 truck owned by private men out of work to facilitate your trucking and your equipment then they say for the poor people I want to know how the truck man put out of work you know your husband stagnant the people around the poorest you know your husband are the prime minister and you are the guest speaker the, the house speaker that don't make no sense rest of MP them not have the talk who no who no for the poor who no gots to go who no gots to go who no need uh, what, an, an, unemployment rate is so high People are trying to run away. And you can't tell me so the other day when them make it um, make a way where other Caribbean countries can run go Canada. Run go Canada without a visa and a you stagnant Jamaica. Me believe I you stagnant Jamaica. Every other country make it except Jamaica because you know say I only power lift up and go away. But you still want with a slave we out and you don't want to pay away. The Prime Minister come here called VK. Him come here for vacation for him family and him, he left a good review. I got to say, the man just black we out, so and so we still need visa. And you move your blood clot, yeah, man. Move your bumble clot. You should have built 150 more house. The next thing you have NHT money. Uh, uh, oh, you feel borrow from NHT. How does that make sense? Why are you borrowing from NHT? NHT have to make poor people house and for you dipping every time you run low. Next thing you spend your whole term. A fast in a in a other low and in a other international affairs. They are Israel. We are down there, though. Jamaica can't take by me now. We cannot take it. We are down there, though. Oh, it matters you. You look up. No, no you're there, and no one play or come up, don't it? You see how fast me I watch you from where there, you know. You see, anytime I look a man come and post and say, Boy, Andrew, you know, it's big. Andrew, you decide them. Disrespect you or your family in any other way, you find them. Why you can't find Danali, buddy? Why you can't find the, the young lady from UA, the one that have vision impaired? You can't find her all now. Where all of them missing persons today? Them resources that you use and find people will disrespect you. Why you can't use it and find the criminals them? You need to do something. We don't see what you do all now. We don't see what you do all now. But we don't see what you must vote for your father. Those are the things that rub me the wrong way. And we feel like we need a change. The fact that the minute you make your wife a house speaker and your prime minister, she will say not care about this country. And I do. I care zero. Nobody wants to say. Those are facts. Yeah, you don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news.